Hello and welcome back to Tinker Talks Guns. Today we're going to be reviewing an inside the waistband holster from Rain City Tactical in Seattle, Washington. Now, Champion Arms was the indoor range nearby that I've been a member at for many years and a couple months ago um, they were purchased by Rain City Tactical, the holster maker, and um, they plan to move their operations there and they spent about a month redecorating, hired hired people, mostly the old employees, and um, opened up. And I got to say, the new facility is really nice, and the people are really nice, and the rules are pretty much what they've always been. Um, they did offer to honor my membership until it expires in November, or for $99, I could upgrade my existing membership to get all the Rain City Tactical Benefits, which amounts to about 15% off holsters and 10% off other purchases. Um, now, I don't normally do Kydex, and it's not because I think there's anything wrong with Kydex. Um, it's because, generally speaking, I can't afford to buy a holster, and so I, and I have some very odd guns that I need holsters for. And I always have leather around because I make knife sheaths for the knives I make for a living. So, no Kydex holsters. But on the opening day the other week, I, uh, at Rain City Tactical, I sought out and sprung for a holster for my CZP-07, an inside the waistband holster. I haven't used inside the waistband holsters for some time because I don't like leather inside the waist holsters because they collapse. But I thought I'd try this and uh, I gotta say I'm favorably impressed. It holds the gun very nicely, very securely. It's very fast on the draw and because of its various features it holds the gun in very tight so that it conceals very well. So here we are up close and personal with the Rain City Tactical Kydex holster and my CZP-07 which I will Unload the show clear. You can see nothing in the hole, no magazine. So, uh, the holster uses, in this case, a uh, sort of carbon fiber looking Kydex, which, yippee, I neither object to nor uh, particularly favor it. It is what it is. The gun is retained by recesses on either side of the trigger guard that catch the front of the trigger guard. Fairly standard stuff. And the gun isn't going anywhere by accident, but it's still quite easy to draw. And uses a pretty common style of clip. And this device, which is called the claw. And what this is designed to do is push the butt of the pistol tighter to your body to aid in concealment. And I have to say, it seems to work in that role. Of course, there's a couple other holes here for some other sort of equipment, but I don't know. And uh, it's all put together with Phillips screwdrivers, which I appreciate. It's uh, sometimes better to just grab a Phillips screwdriver than to go through my uh, <laughs> go through my Allen wrenches looking for the right one. And altogether, it has been very comfortable. I've been wearing it pretty much non-stop, and uh, I like it a lot. And the kicker is that these are $60, which I think is a very reasonable price for what you get. So, there you have it. So, Rain City Tactical is still in the process of moving their production from, the, uh, from their Seattle facility to the new facility in... Kent, and um, but I am told that they will be taking on custom orders if you have an unusual gun, and that in some cases, once production is there, they might actually be able to do them while you wait, which I think would be pretty awesome. Um, I think I'm going to be looking for a holster in this style for my uh, Detonix Combat Master. Uh, so, anyway. Uh, good holster, good price, pretty much everything I would want it to do. It does just great. 
And uh, yeah, that's a very positive review for the Rain City Tactical Holster. And uh, I gotta say, I like what they've done with the shooting range too. So until next time, stay safe, take care, and we'll talk to you again real soon.